One of the biggest limitations for most people when they're trying to do muscle ups, it turns out, is just wrist flexibility. Most people can't flex their wrist actively on their own. So if they put their arm above their head, whoot, and they bend the wrist, most people are kind of up here. They can't flex the wrist enough to actually load onto the base of the palm. One of the great activities working on that is this. It's a wrist push up elevated. And all we're going to do here is go from a fist down to our wrists while we keep our elbows straight and up and down. We want to do both at the same time. If you're really weak and you need to do one at a time, fair enough. We are really trying to just lean into it, down and up. That simple. So this is a small, t I hate the fact that I say so at the beginning of every single video clip we <laughs> ever film. <laughs> so then what do you say first? When you're working on your muscle up, sometimes it's very, very handy to have a low set of rings or rings you can set a bit lower, because then you can play a bit more some of the crucially important things like the false grip. To do a muscle up, a real one, not a big giant kippy one, we want to be placing the palm of the hand on the ring and wrapping our hand around. So when we come down, our wrist ends up like this. We've got that flex position, we're hanging over the ring. And this fundamental position is where all the work sort of happens for people. The breakdown for most people when they're doing their muscle ups on rings, or a lot of ring skills that they can't do that. So a false grip, like so, is what everything boils down to. Now a lot of people make a mistake here. They think it means it needs to be on the, their wrist. And the reality is we're not trying to pull on the wrist. But people think that because they lack the wrist flexibility to put the weight onto the base of their palm. And that's what you want. You want loaded onto the base of the palm, pulling straight down. This is going to activate a whole bunch of cool stuff in your bicep. You pull out harder. And this is going to be the same loading position if you do an iron cross or a ring fly. We're going to be holding the ring in such a way that we're loading into the base of our palm and taking the stress out of our wrist. We are not loading the wrist. If you're doing a bunch of muscle ups or ring work and you're getting big cuts on your wrist, you're doing it wrong. You want these nice big calluses on the heel of the palm. That's what we're looking for. So that's false grip. My cameraman has consumed caffeine, so this could get really messy. Ring dips are a very, very basic movement that everyone fails at when they first try. And it's because of the instability that they have when they're trying to do movements. So what I'm gonna get people to do, oh, pop on up, bump your mic with your rings, and work on keeping the rings stable as you go up and down. If you're wobbling a lot like crazy, focus on keeping them close to your body, down and up. As these become easier, you can focus on turning the palms forward and making the ring dip more and more challenging. Pretty simple. Ring dips, good to do. Gonna build a whole bunch of stability. And they are a very important thing to be working on if you are going to be wanting to do a muscle up on rings because when you get above the ring, things are going to happen. Okay. More cueing things for muscle ups. Let's talk about muscle ups. So, ah, I love that word. <laughs> In terms of a muscle up, the transition point is the hard portion, right? So, you do a pull up, you've gotten to here, and you need to get above the ring to this bottom point of your dip. This portion of the movement, where you go from below to above, requires that false grip, because you're rotating on a flat platform. Right, my hand isn't moving, I'm just rotating my elbow from below to above. Now there's a couple ways we can work on that. We can spend some time above the ring, coming down really low, and working that negative. You can spend some time doing repeats of that. All kinds of fun in there. The trick though, is my base of support doesn't move. And that's what you really want to be focusing on on all these drills. If you're doing any of 
the basic wrist flexibility sort of stretches, the key thing that you want to be doing is pushing down into your fingertips as you do them. So if you turn these hands around and lean back, part of this is just passively sitting here, stretching into the forearms, but I'm also going to actively push down to my fingers and load that tissue so I can create some tension and relax. Create tension and relax. And that's a big portion of what we're looking at here is building more and more active flexibility. The other way about it, which always feels a little bit weird, is to rotate the hands in. Oh, as you can see, I haven't done this one recently. Oh, gross stretch. But same concept, pushing into the fingers, relaxing. And just really rotating into those hands. And then of course, the classic for that wrist flexion, just pushing into the straight arm, pushing the hand, pushing then down into the floor with my fingertips and relaxing. Push the fingertips, relax. That's how you're gonna work through those stretches. It'll be a lot of fun.